So Modbot put out a video about a serious issue that's happening with the Cheaty Plus 4. And unfortunately, I kind of need to steal his video just so it can get out there because I think this issue is important. And people who are potentially going to buy this printer, if they are at all anymore after this, uh, they need to be made aware of it. So hopefully Modbot doesn't mind. But I'll link his video and I'll show some clips so that way you guys can see the error. This retweet was from a stream that Grant from 3D Musketeers did on the Plus 4. Someone had posted a YouTube video of their Plus 4 with smoke coming from that same board, along with a few posts of multiple others experiencing the exact same thing. But essentially, the chamber heater in here was getting a little overpowered. Chidi says that they fixed the issue, but that remains to be seen. I'll show you guys once this print is done, kind of what's going on, and we'll talk about it. But yeah, I was finishing up the review for this printer, and I thought that this issue was more important than anything else, so I wanted to get this out faster than my video. And I've been using the printer for well over a month now, and I haven't had any issues, but I am also on the most updated firmware. So let's jump to the back of the printer, and I can show you guys kind of what's going on, and we can talk about what this issue is. Now the issue, as far as I'm aware, is due to the solid state relay circuitry that's right here. And if we look on the back of the printer, we can see that the chamber heater should run at 400 watts in Europe, and it should run at 400 watts in North America. And I think the issue comes from power wattage is equal to voltage times amps, and Europe runs at 220, and North America runs at 110. So if we take the 400 watts and divide by the voltage, 220, we get, you know, what is that, less than 2 amps? But if we take 400 and divide it by 110, we essentially double the amperage. So what I think was happening is it was set up to run at 220, there wasn't a setup for 110, so it was doubling the amperage, and since it was running at 110 with double the amperage, it was running at essentially double the wattage. And I think that's where it comes from. And what happens is this solid state relay circuit gets way too hot. And in Modbot's video, you can see that there was essentially some heat damage to one of these components right here. Mine looks pretty okay. I've run the heater quite a bit, but like I said, I've pretty much only used this printer on the newest firmware. So Chidi has said that it is fixed with that newest firmware. I'm assuming setting the chamber heater to run at a lower wattage. I reached out to my Chidi rep, and this is what they said. I'll throw it on screen. So they seem to be aware of the issue and trying to resolve it, but it is a little interesting that this error passed QC out of the factory. And there you have it. The whole point of this video is just to get awareness out about this issue. Thanks to Modbot and all the other people who put time into figuring this issue out and putting it out there for other people to see. I do still plan on publishing my full review, so stay on the lookout for that. We'll just have to see if Chidi keeps their promise of replacing any parts that are bad. And it's good that they extended the warranty on the printers by a year, but with the risk of a fire hazard in your house, it's a little iffy. But anyway, thanks for watching. Share this to anyone you know that has a plus four, and I'll see you in the next one.